Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Saturday. All right. It is so red for heart health. And we are grateful that you are with us today on February 5th, 2022. We are the Physical and Mental Health Committee Chairs. I am Arielle Dance. And I am Sharonda Johnson. And this is North Jersey alumni chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. We are so, so excited <laughs> for this event today. Recording in progress. Okay, so we have a fun-filled informational session planned for today. I, we are so excited about this. We have been planning and talking about this because it's oh so important. So today you will have a survivor speaker that is has so much great information. We have some breakout mm -hmm. sessions. You'll be moving a little bit. You'll be, mm -hmm. you'll be meditating a little bit. You'll get some great resources. You'll get a tasty treat at the end about some a great recipe that you can try. And then we also will close out with a signature event that we always have for the heart health event. So we are excited to be here today. And on top of everything else, Today is a fundraiser. We are partnering with our national partner, American Heart Association. So the link will be dropped in the chat. And while we're doing all of this um, moving and sharing information, we'll also make sure that we drop some fun facts to you today. We wanna make sure that you really get some information about how, what heart health looks like and how it impacts you. So again, a fun-filled uh, agenda with some fun facts. So I want to start us off with a welcome from our phenomenal uh, North Jersey alumni chapter president, uh, Sharon Hardesty, who will come and give it some words of welcome. And following, we will have our prayer by our very own Sarah Mary Martin. Greetings and good morning. Um, thank you to both our fabulous co-chairs. I call them our dynamic duo. And um, this is just such a timely program. I bring you greetings on behalf of North Jersey alumni chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. We were chartered in 1939, the North Jersey chapter, and we're proud of our legacy of impacting, educating, and empowering the communities that we serve. And we've been doing this for over 82 years. So as they mentioned, Delta has partnered nat nationally with the American Heart Association, and this Go Red for Heart Health is just so important. Um, heart disease kills nearly 50,000 African-American women annually. And of the African-American women, um, it ranges from age 20 and up that account for 49% have heart disease. So send this link out, dial your relatives, get them on this call, um, this webinar today. We're gonna hear from some um, survivors. We're gonna hear from our panelists and do some fun activities to help us all on that road to having a healthy heart. So we thank you all for joining us today. And I'm excited and I'm, I got my notepad ready, Ariel. So um, take care. Wonderful. Now we will have uh, Sarah Mary Martin, our own, our very own Sarah Mary Martin, come on and help us set the intention for the day with a prayer. Good morning. I'm going to read first of all, um, I'll say good morning and heart health is so important. I just um, this week learned that my cousin has to have a um, quadruple bypass. So, you know, the family is stressed. And in addition to that, he has um, prostate, straight cancer. So, you know, we're just going to keep him in prayer as well. But Proverbs um, 4 and 23 tells us to guard our hearts, um, to guard our hearts for it is the well spring of life. So, you know, um, guarding our heart and taking care of our health is very, very important um, because our bodies are the temple of God. 
So Lord, we just come to you this day to say thank you, Father God. We're thanking you right now for the program that's going forth, Father. For those who had the minds, dear God, to give us this program so that we can prevent um, heart disease. Lord, we're thanking you right now for the attitudes and, and just the care and concern that the um, Soros had in putting this program together. Father, we ask you to bless the committee, all of the participants who will be here today, Lord God. And we um, are very thankful and grateful for that they are being educated so that, um, you know, they're educating the community and being educated at the same time on heart disease. Lord, we are asking, dear God, that you just continue to bless us, Lord, and help us to do whatever is recommended on this day, Father, to um, guide us with our health. Father, because we do know that we cannot do anything and cannot function with our heart, without our heart. So we just ask you to bless this program. Let us learn from it. Let us live by whatever we're being taught today, whether it be physical, um, you know, activity or how we are going to eat um, to preserve our health. And we're thankful and ask all blessings in your name. Amen. Thank you. So why should we care about heart health? Which sounds like a big question, but I don't think we necessarily realize that heart health is killing us fast and quick. Heart health is a central, it's central to our overall good health. We wanna embrace a healthy lifestyle, of course, at any age, because we wanna prevent heart health. We are dying one in three women annually dying. And in New Jersey and in the US, heart disease is the leading cause of death. And as people who are of color, who are black, we are dying at even higher rates. So we know that taking care of our heart, not just our heart, but also stroke and hypertension, high blood pressure, all of those things all fall under that umbrella. So we'll talk about that today, but we know that that is central. We wanna talk about eating healthy. We wanna talk about being active. All of those things are central to living a healthy lifestyle and our quality of life. So that's why we raise money for the American Heart Association because they're doing the research, they're in the community, they're taking care of us. And we wanna make sure that we're doing everything we can to learn and take care of ourselves. So last year and the years before, we've raised 2000 to $4,000 a year for the American Heart Association. This year, we're already close to that $2,000 mark and we are grateful for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But we know we can do better. And so we're trying our best. That's why I'm gonna keep dropping this donation link in the chat. And I know that you're gonna help us get there. So if you haven't donated, thank you. We appreciate you already. Um, so let's see, already our first did you know fact. So this one is COVID related. And I think some people are like, well, why are we talking about COVID when we're talking about heart disease? It's because more people with heart disease, heart failure, diabetes, hypertension are at higher risk for COVID-19. And so when we're walking around without our masks, when we're forgetting to wash our hands, when we're not staying distant from each other, we're putting those people at risk. Or if you have heart disease or heart failure, coronary artery disease, and you're not practicing safe COVID practices, you're putting yourself at risk. So we just had to put this plug in for COVID real quick, remind you to get your COVID-19 vaccine, your booster shot if you're eligible. Remember to do all those healthy things because we want you to stay here. We want you to live a healthy life. So that's our COVID plug for the today. We'll only give you one, but we had to put it out there. And so that's it, that's my spiel on COVID at least. <laughs> So that's some great information. Thank you, Ariel. And as we move forward, um, I wanna just welcome our survivor speaker to our virtual stage. But before we do that, I wanna give you another did you know fact about stroke health. So here are some symptoms just to watch out for that come on that I just want you to really listen for. So I want you to watch for sudden or anyone that you know might be complaining of sudden numbness or weakness of the face, arm or leg, especially on one side of the body. I want you to look out for confusion, trouble speaking or understanding speech. I want you to look out for trouble seeing in one or both eyes. 
I want you to look for trouble walking, dizziness, loss of balance or co coordination. And I want you to look for severe headache with no known cause. Remember to act fast and you'll learn more about that from our survivor speaker who will come on and she'll talk about um, heart, as heart disease as it relates to stroke. And I just also want you to know that our sp survivor speaker, Siobhan <laughs> Williams, is a stroke survivor. So just think about that as we move forward and think about what she has to offer for today. So next, our survivor speaker, Siobhan Williams, is a member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated from New York. She came to us by way of our amazing committee member, Janelle. Siobhan is here to share her story about her survival of a transient ischemic attack known as a TIA, which is a type of stroke. I'm so very excited to hear about her story of faith, perseverance, and survival. So please, please join me in welcoming to our virtual stage, Siobhan Williams. Good morning, thank you so much. It's an honor um, to be here. Uh, does someone have my slides or should I share my screen? Oh, there we go, perfect. So the name of my presentation is Healthy Heart and a Happy Life. Again, thank you for allowing me to be here. We can go to the next slide. So at this time, I want everyone to just take a moment and to close their eyes and just listen to the statements I'm going to say. Um, I just wanna position you um, as a witness to my story. And I say deeply rooted because sometimes there are things that are underlying issues that occur um, due to our ancestry DNA. Um, it's in our blood, it's in our genes, but we must figure out ways to combat it before it's too late. Um, before I was born, my grandmother and my great grandmother and my uncle died because of heart disease. I never met them, but I have memories of them. And it's a deeply rooted kind of thing. Now I would like to fast forward um, because the tree still needs water. And at the age of 44, I witnessed my mom, Georgiana, um, have a stroke. It started with slurred speech, uh, foaming at the mouth and being paralyzed on her left side. We later found out that she was actually pregnant with my brother who was born premature. I was only 13 years old then. You can open your eyes now. And so here's a picture of my grandmother on top and then the picture of my mom at the bottom and my little brother. Next slide. Um, in 2014, I decided to attain legal guardianship of my brother, uh, Joseph, when he was 10 years old. He is now 19 years old and thriving. Um, honestly, my mom just couldn't do it anymore um, due to other health issues. So like she's been taking dialysis uh, for the last 16 years. She's been on the end stage of kidney failure. Um, I started taking guardianship of him when I was 25 years old. In 2019, I took a much needed uh, solo trip to Turks and Caicos. I found a good flight and a good Airbnb. And I was like, you know, I'm gonna live my best life. Let's just say that. And literally a day before um, my departure of coming back to the US um, ended abruptly because I had a TIA, which is known as a mini stroke. And I ended up actually fracturing my left ankle at the same time because when I fell, my um, left leg went under me and all my weight shifted to my leg. Um, I was only 30 years old. And in this picture, this is my little brother. He's my big little brother now because he is much uh, taller than me now. And then the bottom picture, the lady in the back, Miss Diane, she saved my life because I actually was in her restaurant. And, um, oh, sorry. She saved my life. I just, I, I don't know how else to say it, but they thought that I had like low sugar. So they was trying to give me juice, but I couldn't hold it. And she was like, do you need me to call an ambulance? And I told her no. I told her no three times, but she didn't listen to me. And I appreciate her for not listening to me and calling the ambulance because I didn't know what was happening. So, so here I am um, in another country with, um, with no one because again, it was a solo trip and I was eventually flown from Turks and Caicos. It took a couple of days to Florida, which is not my um, hometown clearly or where I live um, to see a cardiologist and they ran numerous tests. And I would say when I was in the Turks and Caicos hospital, they actually um, 
how can I say this? They actually misdiagnosed me and they said that I had a heart attack. But when I got to Florida, they said that I had a TIA. So it was a lot of miscommunication and misinformation to actually find out what was going on with me. Um, we can move to the next slide. Um, so yes, yeah, someone said to me, uh, God gave you a semicolon versus a period so you can continue to live life. And I have done that. Um, a couple of years ago, I got this, I don't know if you can see it, but I got this tattoo that says fight for you. And it has a heartbeat because I just wanna continue to remember that I have to fight for myself every single day. Next slide, please. I just wanna go through the signs. Um, so as we stated earlier, you know, the, we say fast. So first is the face drooping, there's the arm weakness and speech difficulty. And now it's time to call 911. And literally um, I didn't have any um, motion in my left arm and I had slurred speech. Like I knew what I wanted to say when the ambulance came to me and I was trying to tell them information, but I couldn't do it. Um, and then also I couldn't move because my ankle was fractured at the same time. So again, you know, there's numbness, there's confusion, uh, trouble seeing, I had the trouble of walking, um, severe headache. And I would say also with TIAs, they normally last like 30 minutes. So by the time I got to the hospital, all my functions were there. So I just thank God for that because I didn't have to go through any, like I had to go through physical therapy just for my ankle, but I didn't have to go through anything else because I was able to um, have all my functions within 30 minutes. We can move to the next slide. So you may ask what inspires me um, not to live on these meds for the rest of my entire life. Um, I went from just taking one medication to six other medications. And it's a struggle because I barely take my uh, allergy medicine. So just think that you have to take six other medications every day because you are fighting for your life. And the one medication that doctors did prescribe me was changing my lifestyle and losing weight. Um, I'm truly determined to beat the odds and of what doctors say to me. And not only am I a survivor, but I'm working on being a better me. And something that I learned actually the other day, I asked, uh, asked my doctor for a referral to get my blood type. And I got my blood type and I'm known as a B positive. And with that, there are certain foods that affect your blood type. So there are foods that you should eat and foods that you shouldn't eat. And I've learned so much with that, knowing that now, you know, when you know better, you do better. And being able to understand the foods that interact with my blood type that I shouldn't eat. So next slide. So when your heart is heavy, you continue to fight for you. And this is what I was saying that I have on my arm as a tattoo. Um, when I woke up, when I wake up every morning, every day, um, I thank God for waking me up. And I start with my 6 a.m. workout. Um, on June 11th, 2020, I had you know, a virtual meeting with my doctor and I normally just give her my blood pressure readings during that time. And now at this point, I see her like twice a year for just a wellness checkup because I continue to send her um, my blood pressure reading numbers. And I feel good about that, that I don't have to be, you know, I don't have to go to the hospital every day. I don't always have to meet with her. She knows that I've been doing what I need to do to move forward. And I'm just praying that everything works out. And I would just say too, something um, my best friend reminded me of was that I never wanted to be like my mom. And here I am. A spit an image of her and being in the hospital. I'm not trying to get emotional, but it hurts because I always said I didn't want to be in a hospital. I don't want to be like my mother, but I know that um, there's preventive measures where I can make this reversible and be able to survive and thrive. So I'm just excited, you know, to be on this journey, this continuous journey. It's a life changing journey. It's not for a short period of time, it's forever. We can go to the next slide. All right, so here is a picture um, on the top. On the left is my big little brother, <laughs> Joseph. Um, in the middle, I actually started being a beach body coach um, a couple of years ago, and that's one of our first live events that I participated in. Um, then here is my boyfriend, Raymond. So we've been together um, a year, it'll be next week, it'll actually be a year. So I found love um, during this time too. Uh, I continue to still travel. Um, I didn't allow it to stop me from traveling because I refuse to live in fear. Um, so at the bottom, this was my um, really good friend's uh, birthday in Texas. We went and celebrated. 
Um, I've become plant-based since uh, September 2021 after our church's Daniel fast. So that is filled roast plant-based sausage with um, tofu scramble that I make look like eggs with onions and peppers and mushrooms. And then also the last picture where it says Sisters Together, um, I am on the board for the Centers of Wellness for Urban Women. Um, this time around, I wanted to find a board that I was really connected to. And we work with um, urban women in the community and provide different health um, opportunities. So every month uh, during the spring and summertime, we do our Sisters Together walk and it's at different uh, Indianapolis parks. So I co-chair that um, with our leader and it's really a great opportunity to continue living life. Next slide. Um, so, so just a couple of things that I've done with the American Heart Association. Um, in 2021, I participated in the Real People, Real, um, Real Change uh, campaign, and I was a winner. I wasn't the grand prize winner, but hey, I won $500, but I was trying to get that Peloton. I'm telling y'all, I was trying. Uh, um, but it was a really great opportunity how I first got introduced into the American Heart Association. Um, I also was a recipient of the Women of Impact uh, last year, and I'm also CPR certified through that. Um, I did a presentation for the Meridian Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, and I also did two school presentations with the Duchess in um, Ulster County for American Heart Association. Um, I've had several news coverages within the last year or so. And then this year coming up um, on the 25th of February, we have our Go Red for Women Luncheon and Fashion Show. So the winners from 2021 Women of Impact will be in that fashion show. Next slide. And then where you can find me. So you can find me on LinkedIn. And I also shared two links um, of my survivor story that was aired on TV. So WRTV and then WTHR. And I just wanna thank you for your time today. It was truly an honor to be here. Thank you so, so much, Siobhan. It means so, so much to hear your story. Um, and when you get choked up, we get choked up. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Please show Siobhan some love in the chat. We wanna hear love, love, love. See hearts, 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 hearts. Um, please, please, please. But thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, I love seeing the little red heart. I know, my head is just over here. I just wanted to just come in. How powerful and thank you for, you know, being so intimate with us and sharing such an intimate um, piece of yourself because that intimate part of yourself is actually saving someone's life right now. So we appreciate that. It, it, it's, it's, it was so powerful. So again, thank you very much. All right, it's almost that time. So if you haven't grabbed your water yet, please get ready. We're about to start our breakout sessions. All right. Um, all right. One of our breakout sessions is mindfulness. And so um, if you didn't know, um, practicing mind mindfulness and meditation may help you manage your stress. It can uh, manage your high blood pressure, make you sleep better, feel better, feel more balanced and connected, even lower your risk of heart disease. And so that's why today we're partnering with Hackensack Meridian Health as we did last year. And um, we have Dr. Kelly Briggs with us today and she will lead an interactive session um, to help us learn more about connecting with our mind and our body. So I'm really excited about this. Um, and then we also have back with us this year, Sammy Joe Fitness for our movement session, our fitness session, a little bit of strength training, um, because staying active is one of the best ways to keep our bodies healthy. Did you know that it could actually improve your overall health and well being? And I'm sure you knew that it's a natural mood lifter. It um, actually keeps you physically fit and able, keeps that blood flowing, lowers your blood pressure. It's good for your cholesterol, of course, um, but it helps you live longer. And we want to see you living longer. Um, and we can actually share some really great health benefits, but I'm sure you don't need us to tell you that staying in motion keeps you in motion. So we, of course, want to welcome our breakout session leads. Um, I am doing clicky, clicky, clickies to send you where you need to go. So be patient with me. Um, and then that's why I say, grab your water. If you need to grab a yoga mat, I don't know, Dr. Briggs, do they need a yoga mat? I don't know, but it sounds nice. Um, so we're going to send you off on your way. And if you selected multiple places, 
we may have selected somewhere for you to go. So if you don't end up in your first choice, I'm sorry, but we love you. So just bear with us one moment while we um, send you on your way. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the chat and someone from the committee will be able to answer you. Sharonda, did I miss anything? Nope, yeah, that was great. That was perfect. Um, and I have to say, I did Sammy Joe's workout last year. So, um, and I'm all about mindfulness. So whichever breakout room you're in, you are in for a treat. So um, we are excited to hear about it when you return Beautiful. from your breakout sessions. So let's see what's going to do. And start assigning people. So people should start going places soon. I'm going to stop sharing. Okay. I don't know who some people are. If you say fire tablet, I don't know who you are. Um, Is everyone moving somewhere? They should be. I registered today, so, and I put in mindfulness. Okay, um, give, me, give me one second. Is that uh, Sora Mary Martin? Yes. Okay, give me one second. Some people are just first names, so I'm guessing which one of you you are. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm those married. are the ones that I'm I'm working on now. Okay, not rushing you. I just what didn't I I know that I was late. So uh, oh, you're okay. Okay. This is Pam Gardner. Should I have moved by now, Ariel? Oh, I'm okay. Um, Pam Gardner. I see you. Hey Pam. <laughs> hey, hi everybody. You're moving now. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Sharonda, for your help today. Absolutely. I didn't move yet either. <laughs> I just sent you, Sor Jane. Oh, you did? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm still here too. It says I only have nine people who are unassigned. So everyone should have had to receive something. Okay. Nurse Leah. Uh, Leah Devers. Yes. Got it. Good morning. Good Thank morning. You. I don't know who you are. I'm going to move you though. Okay. It should just be me and fire tablet, but I may. If you're listed as fire tablet, can you hear me? Sir Juanita, were you not assigned to a room? Um, not that I see. Hold on. At the bottom, it says breakout sessions. Anyone else who's still here? At the bottom, it says breakout rooms. 
Ariel. Yes. Hi. Hi. I was in science at home, but I did that one last year. I want to do the mindfulness. Okay, that's fine. Let me see if I can change that for you. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah, I was put in fitness. I wanted mindfulness. If that's okay. Possible. Hold on. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, which Tracy just said something. Tracy Wheeler. Wheeler. Tracy Wheeler. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tracy. Hey, Coach Hey. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Yes. There you go, Sora Juanita. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Sora Slade, can you hear me?
Woo. Okay. Lots of questions. We had a relaxing time, so I feel like we're on two different wavelengths, right? We you are. are you all are pumped up, and we're like, I could just float. I could just take a nap. Oh, it feels good, though. It feels really good. Yes, and I and feel I like I can run around the block right now. I feel like I can get yeah. up and put some music on. That was excellent. We had the best time. I, I I love the extremes, but all of it comes together as an asset to our heart health. So that was really good. That was great. It was, so it was good. Thank you so much to um, our presenters, our instructors. Um, it means so much to have both um, both of you back again this year just to help us uh, take care of ourselves and to teach us a little bit more, something a little different. So um, it means so very much. And thank you to our participants who are returning participants who were a little flexible with us. I know it may have been a struggle if I accidentally put you in a session you didn't mean to go to or I shouldn't have put you in. Um, thank you for your flexibility. It means a lot. Um, all right. So we're wrapping things up, but you know we can't wrap up too quickly without um, sharing a little bit more information, trying to make sure we give you, a, make this as educational and as fun all at the same time. So um, this Did You Know is actually for our little ones. When we started planning this event, our own um, committee member, Pat Slade said, let's not forget the little ones. Let's not forget the children because heart disease and heart health is just as important for our small ones. And while we were in our breakout session, one of our educators also shared how she uses mindfulness with her children um, and with her students. And so I actually wanna plug this one for our small ones. Heart disease impacts and touches children just like it touches adults. High blood pressure in young people can impact them mostly for a number of reasons. Changes in medication, their um, family history, because they're African-American, they could be more susceptible. Um, whether or not they're getting enough activity, eating the right foods because they're obese. So if you have a little one in your life, please make sure you're asking the right questions at their doctor's appointments and making sure that they're staying healthy as well. Little people, small humans, as I like to call them, are just as susceptible to heart disease as we are. And so we wanna make sure we catch it early and keep them healthy. And last one, we want to just make sure we talk about diet, right? Because this is something that we all can participate in and we all do participate in every day, trying to determine what best foods would fit us best. So just want to give you some fun facts, just a little information about your diet, but also I want to plug, we will be sharing a food demonstration by our very own and a local chef, Tamara Way. She's going to demonstrate a, an extremely tasty meal. So stay tuned, that link is coming and it'll give you an opportunity to try it out as we talk about a healthy diet, right? So Going along with mindfulness, you know, your mental health, your physical, the diet is a key player in this. It, it, it's key to preventing, um, managing your risk for heart disease, because we know, just as I mentioned to my students, that food is fuel, and you need to give yourself that energy and make sure you're eating things that are energizing you and not weighing you down. So make sure when you're eating a heart healthy diet, and I'm sure you heard this many times before, but try to focus on foods that are low in saturated fat and high in lean protein, fruits and vegetables and, and complex carbohydrates. You know, you wanna just make sure you have some good fiber in there as well. You wanna make sure when you're setting your plate, your plate isn't all one color. Your plate should just not be a, a plate full of beige foods, right? Your plate should actually, we wanna say, I'm gonna tell you, eat the rainbow, right? So eat uh, colors of reds and the greens and, and they can be fresh. They can be frozen or even in a can if that's what you need to make sure that your plate has a variety of food. And you know, the Super Bowl is coming up. So we know everyone is running out and getting all of those snacks. So, you know, why not try, you know, some nuts and some almonds, hazelnuts, peanuts, things like that to add to that Super Bowl menu. And then also, let me just add this in there, um, because I heard someone mention, I think Siobhan mentioned about the Danube fast as well. So I want you to try a meatless meal. 
try one meatless meal per week. So I want you to think about, you're thinking what could go in a, a meatless meal, right? So you could have vegetable lasagna, you could have veggie burgers, beans, um, vegetables, fiber, they all add that protein to your, your diet. So when you're thinking about cutting out the meat, you can substitute it with things such as that. Those are great tips, Sharonda. Eat the rainbow. I like that. Eat the rainbow. Exactly. Nice. Ah, rainbow. It's time to wind down. Don't go anywhere, though. We have lots of good resources. Right. So, yes, don't go just yet. We just we have a couple bonus features for you. We want to make sure that you also. So I, I know um, we want to make sure that um, all of the links today, we're, we're dropping them in the in the chat, because, again, it, it's a it's a fundraiser. So we'll make sure we'll drop that American Heart Association. But make sure you're following our chapter on social media. We'll be dropping great information all month long to make sure that you are on top of your heart health that you're intentional about what you need to do. So in, in, as we wrap up, I'm gonna give you a challenge, right? Because we always like a challenge. I'm going to challenge you. I want you to be intentional about what you heard today, right? What you did today. Try to practice at least one thing from today and make sure not only you're practicing it, but I want you to share it with some, share this information with someone that you love. You know, we want to make sure that we're not holding in this good information and we're sharing it. So again, we share some good tips and if it's not for you, for your young people, but I think between the mindfulness, taking small walks, changing small things in your diet, that's something that we can all do. So that's, that's your challenge. That's, I, I'm giving you that challenge as you, you know, depart with, um, from us today to make sure you're staying healthy and you're sharing those tips with someone else. We did wanna include just this um, flyer that we got from Sammy Joe Fitness. If you had a great time with her today, you can continue to have a great time with her low impact virtual sessions on Mondays and Sundays, and then um, body pump um, on Wednesdays and Sundays. So we'll share this out again, but if you wanna just screenshot it real quick or follow her on Instagram um, or on Facebook, she also shared her email address in the chat. You can connect with her and continue to keep your body moving. If you missed her session, this is also a good way to get connected and keep your blood flowing. All right, our upcoming features. So last year we started having our fashion show virtually because, you know, here we are. So this year's fashion show is called the Red Sweater Brigade. And as you can see from these pictures, our red sweaters were out. People were ready. We were like, boom, boom, boom. They brought out the puppies. They brought out the babies. It got cute. I can't take it. It was great. So you're going to love it. Um, we're ready to share it with you. And so I really hope um, you enjoy it. And I want to thank all of our models yet again. They are um, always coming with the smiles and the moves. So thank you to our models and look out for our virtual fashion show. As Sharonda mentioned, we also have our healthy heart cooking um, session with Chef Tamara Way. Last year we did our demonstration live and it felt a little rushed. So this year we're gonna send it to you as a link. You can fast forward, you can rewind, you can pause as much as you need to. So we're really excited for that. Um, and she's actually sharing a meal you can do three different ways. So I'm actually gonna share with you the ingredients, but of course we'll send them out to you. You can do it um, vegetarian style, shrimp or, and or salmon and chicken. Honestly, I'd try them all three ways. Why not? If you're going to have a video, you can pause, rewind, and, um, and you know, do at home. Why not try all three ways? So I'm really excited for this meal. I can't wait to try it at home. And thanks again to um, Chef Tamara Way, aka my Spellman sister. Sorry. Anyway. Um, all right. Okay, so as we wrap up, just a special, special heartfelt thank you to everyone who supported us today, all of you for taking your time out on this Saturday to join us, all of our subcommittee, our physical mental health, we rock, we are the best. I love our committee. We came together and we made it happen. So we appreciate each member of our subcommittee, our exec board, 
our models, our speakers, our speakers, our presenters, our speakers. Thank you so much. Thank you to our chaplain council who came right on board, uh, Mary Martin, who came in and set the tone for us today. So again, in the chat box, we're dropping, you know, a couple links, you know, you want to make sure, because as I said at the beginning, this is a fundraiser. So we want to just make sure that we're getting this information, but we're also keeping in the forefront that we want to just make sure that we're partnering with American Heart Association and making things happen. So, did I forget anything, Ariel? No, you did a great job. Um, someone in the chat did ask if we could share any information about the mindfulness session. Uh, Dr. Briggs is still on, but um, the mindfulness session was sponsored by Hackensack Meridian Health. Um, Dr. Briggs, I don't know if you want to put anything in the chat about the session or um, how people can get more information about mindfulness at Hackensack Meridian or website a website you would recommend but um sure. yeah. I also sent you and if you can send it out to all the participants um it's a booklet called creating mindful moments that has lots of information and you can definitely share my slides if that's helpful perfect question answered thank you so much all right well that ends our program today um and as we close out I think we have we have a bonus feature. It's the Red Sweater Brigade. Yes, yes. So before you leave, I present to you our 2022 Red Sweater Brigade. And the models are here to, and they're going to show you how they went red for heart this year, heart health this year. I'm also putting the link in the chat in case you'd rather watch it on your computer. I know sometimes watching things on Zoom is a little funky. Oh, but I have to show you. Yeah, yep. I was just going to shout you out, Sora Jane. Oh, no, I was going to say something. That's okay. Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say thank you to Sora Jane because Sora Jane is our model coordinator. She makes sure that the models wore black pants and a red top. She was very specific and they look great in it. So thank you, Sora Jane, specifically for making sure our models look. Oh, you're welcome. They look beautiful. Beautiful. Great job, models. Did you say you wanted to say something before I push play? I no, I just say great job, models. I don't know if you can hear me. Can you hear me? I can hear. I sure can hear you. Um, and again, this oh, is good. just a closer, so you feel free to drop off or anything. But we're so grateful, everyone. This is just like our closing music. So, thank you so much again, and we're super grateful for everyone. Have thank a great you. day. Thank you. Have a great day. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Ava, and her mommy was a member of Delta Sigma Theta. Yay! Yay! One, nine, one, three!
great job. Excellent. Oh, excellent. That was so excellent. <laughs> great job. Yes. Great job. Great job. Ariel is so job. great. Great job, girls. Great job. That was girl. awesome. That was oh, so very nice. Nice. <laughs> I Very that. creative. This very nice. Beautiful. Excellent. Excellent. Very excellent. excellent. Good job, great job. Awesome. Of course, great job. Thank you. Yeah. All Maybe. right, Jay. <laughs> yeah, great job. I had I my like workout. The I had my workout. Different styles. Great job. I had my wonderful. <laughs> thanks again, everyone. Thanks for staying on and watching. It means so yeah, much. Thanks to our models. Yeah, thanks for being so much. Love, you, love you all. Love you all. Be safe. Thank, Thank you, ladies. Have a great Saturday. Have a great day. Have a beautiful program. Happy Saturday. Great job. Happy Saturday. Thank you. Happy Enjoy Saturday. Bye. Bye.